What's happening? It's your boy Papa Duck. Y'all already know what it is, man. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. Hit the notification so you'll be notified every time I drop a video. And most importantly, share this video. It's free to share the video. Three things I want to speak on, right? Very, very important. First thing is I've done a video and told y'all who influenced the medical field when it comes to uh, hospitals, doctors, and so forth and so on. And um, Rockefeller, definitely are the influencers, uh, definitely Bill Gates, Melinda Gates. And um, I want y'all, I want to bring some of y'all attention, right? If you notice, we don't have no natural home remedies anymore. People don't even speak on them no more. And it's all by design. They want you to come to them for every little thing that, that uh, every little fix or anytime you get a, a you know, a cut or, or, your so, or your stomach upset and all this. Man, we used to have remedies for this stuff. Because I know when I was coming up, it was certain things my grandma did, that my mama did, auntie did. They don't do that no more. And this is by design. What I'm saying is, us as people, I'm give a damn what color you are, we have to keep these things going because they're not. I keep telling you, we keep sitting back letting these people do everything to us control us, uh, tell us what to do, what not to do. We need to stand up for ourselves because I'm telling you, it's all about them getting whatever it is they want, you know, for us, for us finances, for us control and whatever else they got on their agenda. We as people need to start coming together and stop letting these people govern us like this. Now, what I suggest is that we start sharing some of the things that we went through as far as when your stomach was hurting or when that happened, this happened. And we need to talk about this stuff so that we don't get, so that this stuff don't get buried in the past. Sound crazy now. But if anything was to happen and you so hooked on Tylenol and you hooked on this and you hooked on that, everybody dumb as a box of rocks when it comes to just home remedies, you're going to be screwed. You never know what's finna happen the way the world is running. If you look at Netflix, every movie, you all you see is people looting and the, the, you know, you see it coming. So all I'm saying is, if we share this information now, because you probably went through some things or your mama, your grandma did some things that my mama, you know, I might not even know about. Now I'm gonna share with y'all what I what, when, when our stomach used to hurt, my mom used to do this. My mom used to take a glass of water, put flour in it, cooking flour. A, a spoonful of flour and make us drink it and it'll coat our stomach. And it, it worked. It worked every time. It worked. It worked. And it, it, like I say, you might have some, and that's just one thing. You get what I'm saying? Like you might know some stuff that your grandma did, your mama did, your auntie did that you can share with everybody else. And I'm telling y'all, yeah, it sounds crazy. Yeah, it is. But what I'm telling y'all is a lot of people don't understand what is going on around them. Like I told y'all, 90% of the people in the world don't have a clue of how the world works. You dig what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, if we keep these remedies alive amongst us, this is very powerful. Powerful than what you think. Because as long as we keep going to them, they're going to keep controlling us. We're going to them for, 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 for finances. We're going to them for medical. We're going to them for shelter. Everything. This is how they're going to continue to control us. Now, secondly, like this is just my little rant. Secondly, what I want to bring to people's attention is stop hating on people, especially those who have similar businesses. If you selling hair, she selling hair, it's enough hair for both of y'all to sell. It's enough money for both of y'all to make. Please stop doing this. You never see, and I'm preferably saying black folks on this one here. I'm speaking to my folks. Like, honestly, man, we got to stop that. All that hating on each other. Man, you can't sell all the, all the damn hell. And not, and not just hell. Whatever it is you doing. It's enough money for everybody, man. All that hating. If anything, y'all should be able to get together and figure out a way where y'all can help promote each other. Put your side. Or put Get a flyer. Put your business on one side. Put their business on the other side. That's coming together. You can't sell all the hell. You can't, you, it's, it's just crazy. It blow my mind like how we hate on each other, bro. For nothing. Oh, oh, they want to did that because I'm doing this. Man, them people probably don't even think about you. Why would you even think like that? 
Oh, I got a food truck. They want to run out and get a food truck. Bro, you got to eat every day. You cannot feed everybody with no one food truck. All I'm saying is we got to get away from that. All that hating, we got to do away with that. That's got to be gone. We, we, that's, I ain't going to lie. I hate that. And another thing, too, people who withhold information on people. Why why, why would you withhold information that you know can help people? See, don't be them slimy people. I don't deal with them kind of people, man. I don't. And I ain't saying you got to run out and help everybody. Or every time you look around, somebody needs your help, you got But what I am saying is use a nasty, I don't want to say because they be in the video, but you know what you will, bro, if you holding back information. People do this all the time, man. Stop doing that, man. Stop holding information, man. Stop acting like you're going to make all the money. Where you, you know, and that's how the record business is. You come in there, they ain't finna tell you about mechanical royalties, licensing. They ain't telling you about none of that. By the time you figure that stuff out, man, you be, you, do, you be down there out your contract. These people don't beat you out of so much money, it's a shame. And I ain't saying not to educate yourself, but I'm just saying those who withhold information and you sit there and watch a person just, just lose it all. Something wrong with you. I hate y'all people, and I, hate is a strong word. I hate people like that just as much as I hate people who, when you hold a door for them and they don't say thank you, I be want to drag their ass back through the door and close that door in their face. That, that just shows how your mama and your daddy raised you. That's all that does. So for y'all who do that, if a person open the door for you and hold the door for you, thank you. Ain't okay you say thank you. Anyway, I just want to put that out there, man. And um, I definitely want to say this too, man. Um, The third thing I want to talk about, and I ain't going to hold y'all long in this video, but the next thing I want to talk about is be careful what you do while you're children, man. I always speak highly of that. Because when you listen to all that music, cussing and sucking and all that right there, in front of your children, man, that child abuse. Honestly. When you smoke weed around man, that child abuse, man. Cursing around them. Doing all that, man, that child, that, that child abuse. All I'm saying is, if you or whoever you got over your kids, y'all got to just set an example for them. Don't be arguing around your children. Don't do that. Go in the room and do whatever you're going to do. Or wait till they go to sleep or whatever. Wait till they go to school, whatever you're going to do. Don't do that. Because I'm telling you, you was a child before too. You could remember some things that probably happened in your household that you will never forget. So don't turn around and repeat the cycle. You feel what I'm saying? Don't do that, man. And all that, and, 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 and like I say, you you you, you got to understand, like, these kids ain't stupid. Please monitor their phones. Because these kids can be on the phone. They 10 years old, 11 years old, 15. Hell, 9 or 8 on porn sites. Man, monitor them damn phones, man. Go through them phones, man. They at an age where you should. And they all that, oh, you invading their privacy. They don't even pay their own damn phone bill. What you mean, privacy? Man, I'm from the old school, man. All that invading their privacy, man. Look at man. You might save their life one day. Go through them phones. See what the hell they got going on, man. You get what I'm saying? Don't just sit there and be one of them parents that just let your children do whatever. No, nah, man, we ain't doing that. Don't let them listen to all that cussing music and whap this and whap that and all that. Stuff. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. But anyway, I just wanted to bring them three points to y'all, man. That just was on my heart to tell y'all about that. And like I say, which is we need to bring back our old remedies, home remedies of health, health home remedies on how we healed ourselves. Because I'm telling y'all, even these doctors don't know nothing. They being indoctrinated. They All they doing is doing what they was told to do. They don't know no better. And some things I've asked doctors and it blew my mind. Like they didn't know. They just didn't know. And I'm telling y'all, man, we need to get away from all that, man. Go back to where it all started from. And it's going to be up to us to keep that going. The next thing is stop hating on each other like I spoke about. Stop hating. Don't do that. Be careful of the energy you put out there because it comes back. You get what I'm saying? You cannot make all the money. You cannot sell all or whatever it is you're selling. And, 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 and be thankful that some, you inspired somebody that, that probably opened up a business similar to yours if that's the case. There'll never be no hater, man. It's enough money for everybody, man. It's a waste of time. And thirdly, man, watch what you do around your kids. That's it. 
they're not stupid. They see everything, they hear everything. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? Don't do that. So with that being said, man, I just want to drop that video on y'all, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's your boy, Papa Duck. Like, comment, subscribe, do what y'all do. But most importantly, man, share the video. Share the video. And I'm going to keep dropping it on y'all, man. Got four new videos coming, musically. And also, um, y'all going to love them. Y'all going to love them. Got some big things. I don't even want to talk about it right now, but it's coming. But like I say, man, I appreciate y'all for checking out my video, man. I'm finna go grab me some yeet. I'll get with y'all later.